Ever find yourself pondering your career path, wondering if data analysis might be right for you? You may be considering this career path, so I have actionable steps that you can take to kickstart your journey. As a senior data analyst, I found that there's so much to learn. It can be overwhelming, but also exciting. So let's start with the basics. So who is a data analyst? When you look on LinkedIn, you may see many different role titles, not just a simple data analyst. Using programming languages and statistical techniques, you decipher complex data sets and uncover trends and patterns crucial for driving the business forward. Your day-to-day -day involves transforming data, crafting data visualizations, and presenting to stakeholders. So you know the basic responsibilities of a data analyst. But how do these translate to real-world projects within the workforce? Take a look at one of my many Workweek videos where I show my day-to-day -day process working in data. Let's briefly dive into the various types of data analyst roles. A business analyst works closely with business stakeholders to identify opportunities for improvement, efficiency, and effectiveness using data. A product analyst enhances product performance. Marketing analysts refine strategies for campaigns and study market trends. Operations analysts streamline internal processes. And finally, a healthcare analyst like me works on improving patient outcomes, generally working with patient claims data. A common question that I receive is what is the difference among data analysts, data scientists, and data engineers. Data engineers are involved in the extract, transform, and load process, where they change data into usable information for data analysts. Data scientists use more advanced techniques, such as machine learning and predictive modeling. My work experience encompasses both of these responsibilities, showcasing that these three roles are very intertwined. Whether you're set on a specialization or you're exploring your options, these roles share core skills. How do you know if being a data analyst is right for you? Here are the pros and cons. As a data analyst, you're the problem solver transforming numbers into actionable insights to drive business growth. It's a rewarding journey where you'll get to collaborate with stakeholders and have focused time for the analyses. Flexibility is a huge plus. Many roles offer fully remote work, which I personally like. You can also find hybrid schedules if you crave more in-person coworker interactions. However, with any role, there are challenges that do exist. The role is less creative than most others. While you can get a little creative with data visualizations, you often adhere to business brand guidelines, including select colors and pre-outlined slides. Storytelling with data can offer some room for creativity, but professionalism supersedes. If you're not enthusiastic about numbers and coding, Data analysis might not be for you. You have to be up for the challenge of constantly learning new data analysis methods and handling the stresses of troubleshooting Python errors. The formula for a great data analyst requires a love for independent work, logical thinking, and a desire to continually enhance your coding skills. Another pro of becoming a data analyst is the salary and career growth. It's crucial to note that compensation in the field varies across industries and by the years of experience. Here's the breakdown of data analyst and senior data analyst average base salaries in the major city hubs. Aiming for a higher salary, you can climb the career ladder and become a lead data analyst, where you'll lead more projects and become more independent from your manager. Alternatively, you might explore the role of a data manager itself, where your focus will shift towards managing a team of data analysts and have more project management responsibilities. If you're up for additional studying and skill building, delving into data modeling, and enhancing your Python skills, you could work your way towards becoming a data scientist. Becoming a data analyst is a rewarding career path, but ultimately it is as rewarding as the toolkit you build, your curiosity to learn, and the value you bring to the companies. What does a data analyst's nine to five look like? Here's a typical project life cycle. You kick off a project by engaging with stakeholders and collaborating with different teams. Next, you craft a detailed analysis plan, mapping out the aims for the project and setting a timeline. You'll use SQL to pull the necessary data and create variables. Then, the tedious but very necessary next step, cleaning the data. After you'll run exploratory analyses, such as descriptive statistics, or create visualizations of trends in Python. Finally, you present your findings to the stakeholders. Keep in mind that this project life cycle can vary and is dynamic meaning that some of the analyses can end at the exploratory analysis stage, while others can veer off into multiple projects. Next, I'll share the tools you'll need and the roadmap of what you need to learn. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your skills, 
This roadmap will guide you through each step of your data analyst journey. So you're still here and you're committed to becoming a data analyst. Begin by honing your skills in Excel or Google Sheets. Many entry-level roles require proficiency in Excel, making it essential to learn data cleaning and formulas within spreadsheets. Get hands-on experience and build a solid foundation for your data analyst journey. Once you have that mastered, take your skills to the next level with SQL, Structured Query Language. Learn how to pull and merge large data sets from databases to solve problems with an abundance of online resources at your disposal. Next up is Python. Python is a must-know language across industries. Discover its versatility in handling data and explore the various packages to cater to your analytic needs. Python is a powerful tool to process, analyze, and visualize data seamlessly. Explore popular data visualization tools like Looker and Tableau. These user-friendly tools allow you to create interactive dashboards and glean insights at a glance. While there are many tutorials for Tableau readily available, focus on learning SQL and Python first, as many jobs prioritize these tools over the visualization tools. Personally, I learned the visualization tools on the job, as many positions prefer that you know how to handle data versus use the specific tool. Remember that the key to success is continuous learning. Start with free courses and gradually work your way to advanced topics. Next, we'll discuss how to strategically showcase your value on paper. We'll dive into the common themes that can make your resume stand out to potential employers. Reflect on the core business goals of a data analyst. These include improving user growth, retention, and engagement, increasing revenue, minimizing time and resources, enhancing personalization, and reducing churn. These are some of the driving forces that businesses seek in data analysts. Showcasing your impact. Learn the art of highlighting how your past experiences drove meaningful metrics. Job descriptions often revolve around the aforementioned key areas, and recruiters are keen on finding people who align with their specific needs. Discover how to effectively translate your value to their job description. I'm going to introduce a game changer in updating your resume, the Resume Awarded tool. You'll receive insights to create an action-oriented and keyword-rich resume. Here's what Resume Worded looks like. Once you log in, you can see that you can score your resume, have targeted resume tips, and also review your LinkedIn. First, you'll upload your resume. What's great about Resume Worded is that it breaks down your overall score into impact, brevity, style, and your sections. For example, when we go to impact, you can see if you're quantifying your responsibilities. As I mentioned, you do need to have numbers and metrics, and you can see the percentage of bullet points that are quantified. They even have recruiter insights, such as a common question for students and recent graduates. Look at my past resume. For example, it will tell you how you can put in more hard numbers into your resume. They'll show you a weak statement and compare it to a stronger statement that has quantitative metrics. It will also tell you if you're overusing action verbs, such as using conducted four times. It will also give words that you can use instead. As you can see, the bullet point recommendation that they have is between 12 to 20. I've used it as a great resource to improve my resume. The Resume Worded tool provides valuable suggestions to enhance your resume's visibility and effectiveness. These tips and tools will empower you to craft a standout resume. We've gone over the importance of customization, and now we'll discuss whether you should invest time to create a cover letter. With the fierce competition, skip writing the cover letter because most hiring teams will prioritize the resume. However, a cover letter can make a difference. It could be a valuable addition if you have a unique tie to the company or if you have specific experiences you want to highlight. Now that you know how to navigate the data application process, the next step is to enhance your data skills. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where I'll share three data resources that I use in my day-to-day -day studying. Building a career study habit is key to staying ahead in an ever-evolving field of data analytics. Subscribe and join me in the next video as I share tips on how to build a career study habit as we explore essential data materials for aspiring data analysts. Thanks for watching.